What's up, buds? It's your bud Bolt from Rink Threads here. Today, we're going to be making our very own sports drink. Today's episode is brought to you by Rink Threads, because why would we not sponsor our own YouTube video? I'm wearing a Rink Threads tee right now, so if you like this tee, or if you want to check out all of our other really cool hockey-related designs, Head on over to ringthreads.ca. All of our designs are available from a youth extra small all the way to adult 4XL. There's never a size up charge. So if you're a hockey mom who fits in a youth medium, we've got a hockey mom t-shirt in that size for you. So I was rooting around the basement and I found this guy. The Ultimate Cookbook for Hockey Families by Aaron Phillips and Corey Keeley. And I thought we need to try some recipes from this. So we're starting off with their sports drinks. Now they have a whole section on hydration and of course they recommend water be your number one source of hydration as a hockey player. But if you're playing for extended periods of time, like if you're in tournaments or if you're doing two-a-days uh, or you know, you're at a hockey camp or something, you're going to need a way to replenish your electrolytes. Now typical sports drinks, the ones you'd probably tend to gravitate towards have around like 34 grams of sugar. That's eight and a half teaspoons of sugar in that one bottle. Do you know what eight and a half teaspoons looks like? It looks like this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is what is in your typical sports drink, that much sugar. So can you imagine getting off the ice and just eating this much sugar? That is a lot of sugar. So what we're going to do today is we're going to test out these recipes. We're going to see if they're awesome or if they're totally not. We're going to find a way to replace all this sugar in your sports drink. So they do include some recipes for your very own, what they call Sport Aid. And uh, they have two recipes here, but then they also have this handy chart where you can make your own recipe. So we're going to do their two recipes, which is a pomegranate aid, which they call pomade and a lemonade, but I don't like a lemon, so we're gonna make it a lime. So we're doing a pomade, a limeade, and then I'm gonna hit you with two recipes from the mix and match, and uh, we'll see how they taste and if they can replace your regular sport aid. So we're gonna start by talking about the basic recipe behind all of this. If you strip away exactly what you're using and just stick to kind of the general idea of what's going on, it's really easy to mix and match your own recipe. So we start with half a cup of coconut water. And then to that, we're gonna add one cup of liquid. Now this can be just plain old water or you can use a chilled herbal tea. Next is gonna be one teaspoon of salt and that's gonna put back some of the sodium that your body sweat out. You're also gonna add a half teaspoon of sweetener. Now this can be any sweetener you want. It can be honey, it can be maple syrup, agave syrup, brown rice syrup. If you really want to add like a simple syrup, you can do that as well. Just half a teaspoon of sweetener. Last is going to be half a cup of fruit juice or half a cup of fresh fruit. Now, if you would like this recipe or any of the recipes to follow, you can find a link to those down in the description. Let's talk ingredients. First, you're going to need some coconut water. Try and get no sugar added coconut water. You're also going to need some regular water or some chilled herbal tea. Of course, I was too lazy to actually brew and chill some herbal tea. You're also going to need some pomegranate juice. Once again, opt for the no sugar added. Some salt. Now you can use sea salt, Himalayan sea salt, or you can just use table salt like I am here. Some honey as our sweetener, but going back to the recipe, you could use maple syrup, brown syrup, agave syrup, or even simple syrup. Some pineapple juice. Once again, no sugar added, 100% juice. Some lime juice, or you could actually juice a fresh lime. Once again, I am lazy. Finally, some cubed watermelon. Oh, and if you're going to use that watermelon, you're going to need a blender. So I like to start with a water bottle, just mix everything in there. So this is our half cup of coconut water. And this is one cup of just regular tap water.
Now we are going to add in our pomegranate juice and we're going to add in a half cup of that as well. Our pinch of sea salt or table salt in this case. And last, we're going to add our honey. Now, you can always add more, add less to your taste. Now, just close up that bottle and give it a really good shake. Now, you're ready to drink this or toss it in your hockey bag. Just shake it up before you drink it later. I'm going to pour it out so we can see what it looks like. And that is a very power 80 red. <laughs> All right, so here's the pomade. It's okay, it's very tart. It's not very sweet at all. You can definitely taste the coconut water in it. So if you don't like coconut water taste, this one definitely isn't for you. This definitely tastes like coconut water. You don't even taste the salt. It does, it does actually taste like what you would expect from a sugar-free, like a sugar-free Powerade that's pomegranate flavored. It does taste like that. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. I'd still drink it. So now we're gonna move on to the limeade. Starting to get the hang of this now. We start with our empty water bottle and we add a half cup of coconut water. Now that one cup of water. Now here's where things get different. We add two tablespoons of lime juice. It's because lime juice is really strong. We don't want to add a whole half cup. Otherwise it's going to be a very intense sports drink. But we're still going to add that pinch of salt. and our half teaspoon of honey. And we're still gonna shake it all up. And this looks like a cocktail. All right, so let's try the limeade. That's really good. I really like this one. It is exactly lime coconut flavored it tastes like something tropical it's not too sweet it's not too salty uh, it's not too too sour either which you can sometimes get with lime especially the lime juice and not the fresh lime but like it this is perfect that's my favorite one so far but let's keep going Third time going through, you've got it now. Half cup coconut water. One cup of regular water. This time we're adding half a cup of pineapple juice. Our pinch of salt. half a teaspoon of honey and we're gonna shake it up now let's pour it out and see what we got nice light pineapple yellow all right pineapple coconut sensing a tropical theme here that's nice that you think it's gonna get really sweet and then it doesn't. The coconut water and the regular water just really mellow out the sweetness of the pineapple juice and the honey. That is a winner. I like this better than the lime coconut. It has a bit more flavor. It's still not too sour, not too sweet, not too salty. Not too anything really. It's really perfect for just like sucking back after you've been on the ice for a couple hours. All right. 
we are on to our last recipe. It's gonna get a little bit wild. All right, last recipe. We're still doing our half cup of coconut water, just like we've been doing the entire time. And we're also still adding our one cup of water to that, except now I realize that my blender is way too full, so I'm gonna have to split the liquid between it and the water bottle. I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of lime juice. I'm gonna add my half a teaspoon of honey. That pinch of salt. And now I'm gonna add the fresh cubed watermelon, a half cup of that. And we blend. You can thank me later for turning down the sound on the blender. Now I'm just gonna add this back to the other liquid in the water bottle that we split. And I'm gonna give it a real solid shake to get everything mixed. See what this one looks like. Look at that pink. All right, last one. Cheers. Oh, that's a pleasant pop. That fresh watermelon really adds a lot. And the lime, I love lime. So I mean, anything with lime, I'm gonna love, but this is good. I just don't know if it beats, yeah, it beats the pineapple. I just got the aftertaste. It beats the pineapple by a mile. Totally worth the extra blending time. Totally worth the extra effort to put some fresh fruit in here. Oh, that's so good. I'm never drinking Gatorade again. That's amazing. So when it comes to coconut water, PK Subban drinks uh, a liter of this before every game. So he'll drink a whole one of these before every game. Coconut water is really great at replenishing electrolytes. Um, I've been drinking it for years after games, but I don't drink it in this format. Let me show you what I drink. Now what this is, is dehydrated coconut water. This is a powder that when you add water to it, becomes coconut water. So what I do is I keep a container of this in my hockey bag. And after a particularly tough game, if I'm in a tournament, anything like that, I take this, I put it in my water bottle with some water, give it a good shake, and I have some hydration ready to go. But after this, <laughs> I'm clearly gonna have to carry a blender in my, <laughs> my hockey bag. Um, so these recipes, you wanna make them the same day that you're gonna drink them. So uh, make them, put them in the fridge, toss them in your bag before you leave. You don't wanna let these sit for long. I don't know why, but the book says so. So we're going by what the book says. So this has been <laughs> DIY sports drinks. I have a bit of a mess to clean up. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.